Murray, you could probably clear up an area of doctrine that's been bothering me. Yeah. I was told at one time, and I don't know if this is apocryphal or not, that you were in favor of the U.S. and Russia negotiating to get rid of nuclear arms. Yeah, sure. And then I thought, well, that's nice. The two governments get rid of nuclear arms, but maybe private people will still continue to own them because as libertarians, mm. I don't think we take them away. Yeah. And then I was thinking of Leonid Brezhnev with his nuclear arms, <laughs> and I wasn't feeling very safe, and I thought of Exxon with theirs, and I wasn't feeling very safe, mm. and I wondered what the position really is on this. There's no, uh, there's no canonical position on that yet. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tricky area. The, within the spectrum of the libertarian movement, as far as I know, there's every, every view on it. Uh, some friends of mine believe that uh, nuclear wep private nuclear, we nuclear weapons should be illegal because they're per se aggressive. In other words, the very holding of them means you're threatening somebody. Others, other, some of the science, science people, uh, believe every man should have his own Every man and woman should have his own laser beam and, and, and missile, a nuclear missile. Uh, I'm sort of in the middle of the road around that, as I am in almost everything else. <laughs> the, uh, I kind of, my view is that it should be legal, but I would, I would sort of be very wary about anybody who had one and sort of organize, <laughs> and organize a boycott, you know, don't trade with uh, some guys building a nuclear missile and something like that. But I, I don't think, as I say, it really needs a lot of discussion. It really does. Are you in favor of the two governments negotiating to, for them as governments to take away their nuclear weapons, oh, yeah. whether or not other people? Oh sure, have them? oh sure, absolutely. Yeah.